Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Oklahoma Virtual Transfer College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. The presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. And now I'll turn it over to our presenters. And here is the schedule for this afternoon. We are here in session C1. So first up, we'll hear from Oklahoma State University. Hello, everyone. Um, I will begin sharing my screen. All right, so hopefully you all can see um, our presentation and I know that we do have a quick six minutes here, um, but I'm going to try and touch on um, some good important information that um, is very important to Oklahoma State in admissions. So, all right, here in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions, we do have three transfer counselors. And so we are very lucky to actually have three counselors in the past. Um, we've only had two. So we have recently opened up a new position who is Mariah and she is wonderful. Um, so here is our contact information, which you can find on our website at admissions.okstate.edu forward slash transfer. Um, this is actually going to give you a map and so you can narrow down who your admissions counselor is based on the college that you're attending. And so we, me, Tara and Mariah each handle different territories. And so I handle all four year institutions, um, online transfer students, um, most of our Tulsa Community College partners. Um, so it's all kind of split up a little bit randomly. So if you do have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to any of us because we are all happy to help. But just to narrow it down by who your counselor will be, feel free to visit the website and find your admissions counselor. Okay, so here at Oklahoma State, a complete application is pretty basic. Um, it is very different than our freshman side of things, and so it can be a little confusing. Um, so definitely make sure to check out our transfer specific website. Um, but a complete application at Oklahoma State will just be complete your application online. We are not a part of the Common App or anything like that, so you will actually complete your application online at admissions.okstate.edu. We will require official transcripts from each college institution that you've attended. This includes whether it was taken concurrently or um, whatever that looks like, we will require an individual transcript from each institution. We will also require a $40 application fee or fee waiver. If you do have any questions about a fee waiver, feel free to reach out to your admissions counselor. The criteria on that is um, can be a little confusing, so definitely reach out to us and we can get that taken care of for you. Um, something to note is that for students who are applying currently for spring 2021 or fall 2021, your application is now open. So if you do have any questions as you're going through that process, that is what we're here for. Just know that your application is open and you can start that process now. So moving on to some admission criteria. Um, for students who have between 7 and 23 credit hours, you must meet one of our freshman admission requirements. So this is going to be a 3.0 um, high school GPA and being in the top 33rd percent of your class, a 3.0 core GPA and a 21 ACT or SAT equivalent, or a 24 ACT. You have to meet the freshman requirement as well as our transfer requirement, which is the 2.25 cumulative college GPA. We are, however, test optional um, at this point. And so we have set in motion a couple of different things um, just to help students who have been unable to test due to COVID. If you do have any questions regarding that, reach out again to your admissions counselor and we can walk you through what that process will look like. If you have between 24 
um, and 59 credit hours, then it kind of cuts out all of that freshman information and then it's just the 2.25. And then if you have 60 plus or an associates, it's a 2.0 college GPA. Definitely make sure to check out our transfer toolbox. So all of the information that we've covered today, it will be located in our transfer toolbox. It's kind of our hub of information. So again, it will have our admission requirements, all of our degree plan plans, our transfer credit guide and our transfer self service, all of our scholarships and financial aid information, as well as veteran FAQs and just some other um, frequently asked questions for students. Um, I do want to touch on our transfer credit guide and our self service. These are very popular tools among all of our transfer students. Our transfer credit guide is a course by course lookup. And so this is very helpful whenever you are planning a semester out or so and you still want to make sure that the courses that you're planning to take over the course of the next semester at your institution will transfer how you'd like them to to OSU. Our transfer equivalency self service is going to be a transfer degree audit essentially. So it will show you um, how your courses that you've taken will fit into your OSU degree plan, as well as what requirements you have left to meet, things of that nature. You will get an official degree audit whenever you meet with your academic advisor at New Student Orientation. So that is all I have for you all. Um, again, feel free to reach out to your admissions counselor um, because we are here to help you and answer any questions that you do have. Um, feel free to pop in any questions into the Q&A. Um, myself and Tara will be monitoring that. So we are happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, go Pokes! Great, thank you. And next we'll hear from Southeastern Oklahoma State University. Hi everyone, my name is Teresa Trailer and I am the transfer recruiter here at Southeastern. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Southeastern, we are located in Durant, Oklahoma, which is 20 minutes from the Texas border, two hours southeast from Norman, and an hour north of Dallas. Um, we have three satellite campuses, one in Idaho, one in McAllister, and one in Ardmore, Oklahoma. Some general information about Southeastern. Um, this year enrollment's highest has been its, this year the enrollment has been the highest it's ever been, right at 5,400 students. Um, the cost to go to Southeastern per semester if you live on campus is approximately $7,000. Um, being a transfer student, you are not required to live on campus. So if you live off campus, of course, that's going to bring it down to about $3,500 um, per semester. Um, here at Southeastern, we're fighting hard to give quality education at affordable costs. So that's something we like to um, um, let all of our transfer students know. Um, here at Southeastern, um, the only requirements that we have for our transfer students is you have to be eligible to return to the last college or university you've attended. Um, you can't come off of a suspension. Um, the admissions process is really easy. You just go to our website at sc.edu, fill out an application. We do have the $25 application fee. And then we do require all transcripts from previous colleges and universities you've attended, and that does include your concurrent um, work in high school. Um, scholarships, we have the new automatic tuition waiver, which is broken down into two tiers. Um, tier one is a $1,000 tuition waiver per semester, and it's renewable for four semesters. Um, it's awarded to first time Southeastern students that hold an Associates of Arts or Associates of Science degree. Um, you must have a minimum of a 3.0 transfer GPA and be an Oklahoma resident. Um, no app is necessary for that. Um, it's automatic. The tier two automatic scholarship is $500 for two semesters, which again is awarded to first time Southeastern students that hold an Associates of Arts or Associates of Science degree. Um, for that scholarship, you must have a minimum 2.0 transfer GPA and be an Oklahoma resident. That also requires no app. Um, for Southeastern, 
30% of our student body is Native American. Um, we have an office on campus dedicated to the success of these students. Um, and seven scholarships um, is what we have for the Native American descendant. So if that's something you're interested in, you would just reach out to our Native American Institute. Um, Southeastern, we have over 65 different degrees to choose from, but I'll go over our top three with you. Um, we have Occupational Safety and Health, which is a world recognized safety program. Um, we have companies from all over America come to our campus to do interviews and hires. Um, so that's probably one of our top programs. Another one is biology, um, two fields, pre-med, pre-med, um, pre-dental, and pre-pharmaceutical. Um, it's a fast track to the OSU med school. Um, and then biology, we have fisheries and wildlife. A lot of students choose that uh, program to do um, game warden. Um, and then probably our most popular is our aviation program. Um, it's capped off at 50 students. So if that's something you're interested in, you wanna go ahead and apply as soon as possible, um, which our application is open for spring and fall semesters. Um, as a transfer student, I know a lot of the times you don't um, feel like you're able to get involved in campus organizations, but Southeastern makes it extremely easy for our transfer students to get involved. Um, student life, we have 70 plus student organizations, um, our athletic programs. Also, um, we are NCAA D2 sports. We're in the Great American Conference. Um, and we also have club sports, lacrosse, fishing, um, as well as band, cheer, dance, and theater. Housing, again, we have um, your classic dorm room and then we have apartment style housing. Um, the apartment style housing is geared more towards upperclassmen, um, so that would be transfer students. As a transfer student, you are not required to live on campus, so you're able to live off campus if that's something you're wanting to do. Um, also, uh, if you want, uh, I would advise you to come and schedule a campus tour, and you can just do that by going to our website, se.edu. We are doing in-person tours at this time, um, as well as virtual tours. So if you're not able to get away and you want to see Southeast's campus, you would just register for that the same exact way by going to se.edu. Um, and any information about scholarships or admission requirements, you're able to reach out to me. I'm our only transfer recruiter. Um, my email is ttrailer at sc.edu. Um, and then if you have any questions, again, I'm more than happy to go over that with you. And that is all for our presentation. Great, thank you. Um, so unfortunately, we do not have our presenter from Connor State College at the moment. So we'll hear from Roger State University next. Hi, I'm Randall Darden. I'm the transfer recruiter. Um, I'm gonna get this screen shared here. So Randall Darden, Rogers State University, and I'll help you through the transfer process. I'm the only one here uh, through this process, so you can give me a holler anytime and I'll be glad to help you through that uh, transferring process. We have three campuses across Oklahoma. One is in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Our main campus is in Claremore, Oklahoma, and we also have another campus in Pryor, Oklahoma. Sorry, Randall, we're not seeing your screen yet if you, if you meant to be sharing. Oh, I do. Now, do you see it? Yes, you see there you now? go. Oh, great. All right, so we have those three campuses. Uh, we have several degrees to choose from. Business technology, applied technology are two of them. We have a eSports lab in our main, our main campus in Claremore, and we have a, uh, the uh, uh, unmanned aircraft systems course in the prior campus. Um, we have an eSports team, cybersecurity, uh, software development degrees, and we have a drone team. Uh, one of our degrees is the communications degree. We have a live broadcasting TV and radio station on our main campus. 
And uh, it's really incredible because it has a hands-on program for students who are, are looking to be in the broadcasting uh, field. So not only do you just get to learn about being on TV and or shooting with the camera or taking pictures or, or whatever it is you're interested in, but you actually get a camera in your hands and do the actual work at, uh, at our campus and it goes on TV. So it's really cool. Uh, we have uh, health sciences and biology degrees. So both of those will get you in the medical field. Our biology is uh, med molec, which is for pre-vet, pre-pharmacy, uh, pre-medical uh, fields, any like optometry, things like that. Our allied health is for athletic training, physical training, or physical therapy and occupational therapy. And then our BSN program, we're really proud of. Uh, it has a 96% pass rate on the NCLEX and 98% job placement rate. But what's even better is our RN to BSN program, in my opinion, that is completely online. And uh, uh, so it's convenient and helpful, and it's one of our faster growing programs at RSU. Uh, of the biology branch, there's also another option, and that's the environmental conservation. Uh, we have students that study abroad in this degree all across the world. And we also have a conservation education reserve that's 2.75 miles of, of property or circumference of property. And it's really cool. It has lots of hiking trails and things that you can go and check out. And uh, I love it. I like to go out there and hammock and read and, and look at, at the bugs and birds. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have a BA, uh, Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Visual Arts, Graphic Design, Multimedia, Photographic Arts, and Studio Arts. And these students travel to Italy every year to study abroad. And here's some of our other bachelor degree options. Uh, the ones with the diamond beside them are the ones that are offered fully online. Uh, the other degrees may or may not have online options, but they are not completely offered on completely online. Sorry, that's a freshman slide. So we have uh, partnerships with these institutions to do internships with. So we have uh, our uh, connections with local businesses and bigger businesses so that you can actually get plugged in and find a career path through our university. Uh, and we also have several transfer, uh, transfer uh, scholarships for our students who transfer into RSU. And here's are some of our study abroad opportunities. Lots of student organizations to be involved in. And if you don't see one on here that you'd be interested in being involved in, it's super easy to start your own. Uh, years and years ago, I started my own uh, student organization and it's uh, really fast and easy. Their, the school is super helpful when you wanna start a group uh, to find a community to belong to at school. There are lots of activities and things going on through the Social Justice League, uh, the eSports team, and um, different uh, community events going on in on, on campus and in our community. There's lots of games and things to take place in, like Humans vs. Zombies and the uh, Chill Out with RSU Radio, different things like that. There's uh, the uh, volleyball pit, all kinds of fun stuff to check out. We also have sports, uh, basketball, softball, baseball, things like that. Life on campus. So there is a 19 to one student to faculty ratio. So we're proud of our small classes and our small school atmosphere. There are about 4,000 students across the three different campuses. And so there's about, a, I don't know, just under a thousand students who actually live on campus. And so you get to see a lot of familiar faces and people around campus that uh, you'll begin to recognize regularly and you can make a lot of friends. Uh, we have one bedroom, two bedroom, and uh, four bedroom options, and five bedroom options to live in with community centers, Wi-Fi, all of the amenities, pretty new dorms, um, really nice. Apartment style living. You can eat on campus. We have a buffet, a coffee shop, and a uh, and other things. What is going on? 
All right, I'm sorry, we do have to move on to our last presenter. Uh, we'll have a little bit of time afterwards for Q&A as well. So I'm going to turn it over um, to the University of Arkansas. Hi, everyone. My name is Olga Mercia, and I'm with the University of Arkansas. Uh, if you're not familiar with the University of Arkansas, we are located in the northwest corner of Arkansas. And so depending on where you're going, we may be a little closer, we may be a little bit further away. Um, a little bit about the University of Arkansas. We are a public mid-sized university, so we do have around 27,558 students as of fall of 2020. And about one in four of the new students are transfer students. We have 200 academic programs. 87% of our classes have that 18 to one student faculty ratio. Um, our little town Fayetteville is actually in the top five best places to live according to US News and World Report. And this area, the Northwest Arkansas area, is really known for having a lot of those Fortune 500 offices as well. We have 300 of the Fortune 500 offices in the area. It's really beautiful. If you haven't visited Northwest Arkansas, I invite you to do so. Um, the University of Arkansas, where it's located, it's not just a college town. Um, so there's a lot going on in, in this uh, Fayetteville. Um, I definitely like to call it like a little funky little town. We have a lot of interesting things going on. And funky, of course, in the positive way. Um, a little bit about the admission process. We have two different student classifications uh, when you're applying for admission. And so we have a new transfer student and a transfer freshman. So if you're completing your associates of arts or associates of science, you're definitely going to have more of that new transfer student classification. Um, so we'll be looking at your college GPA for admission. If you have 24 transfer bars or more, uh, the GPA requirement for general admissions is a 2.0. But depending on what program you're interested in, there may be a separate application for admission into that. And so those are typically nursing, for example, um, some of the bachelors of fine arts, which we have those majors. So graphic design, for example, um, studio, um, studio art is also another BFA program and then social work. Um, so we have a lot of, of majors on our campus. Like I said, 200 plus academic programs. We have engineering, we have architecture, we have education majors. And education majors definitely have that separate application process too. So it's important to get connected with us early on. Uh, we do have our application in-house, but then we also use the Common App. So if you are applying to the Common App, you can use that to apply to the U of A. Um, the best time to apply for admission is a semester before you're anticipating to start with the University of Arkansas. So if you're applying for fall of 2021, January would be that best time. Um, and then going back to the transfer freshman student classification is a student that has less than 24 transferable credits. So we are looking at high school GPA and test scores as well, but not for a new transfer student. So I just wanna emphasize that. If you're looking at our website, which is transfer.uark.edu, we have a lot of great tools for you to use. We have our uh, transfer guide, which has a lot of information about the University of Arkansas and what you need to do. Uh, we have timelines as well as our degree plans, information on scholarships. Um, and then we also have our tools that you can use to determine what credits transfer to the University of Arkansas. So both of those are called uh, the Course Equivalency Guide, which will let you see all that has transferred from your school. And then we have the transfer planning guide, which allows you to select your transferring institution and then the major that you're interested in. So it'll populate uh, course codes for, um, for example, if you're looking at English, it'll tell you the course code equivalent to satisfy English at the University of Arkansas. Now uh, for housing, uh, we have a variety of different residence halls on campus. We have one apartment style um, dorm, um, and so that's pretty popular with our transfer students as well as a few other um, different dorms that we have on campus. As a new transfer student classification, you're not required to live on campus. So if you have those 24 transferable hours or more, you're not required to live on campus. Um, but we also have some tools that students can use to find apartments in the area. And so if you have any questions about any of that, for sure, let me know. Uh, we do have scholarships for transfer students, so depending on what term you're applying, there's a different deadline. We have a rolling admission process, so you're not required to apply by a certain time frame, but it is best to start applying early on that semester before so that you have everything ready and you can move on to steps like advising and make sure that you have that scholarship application. So April 1st for students that are starting in fall term is the scholarship application deadline for students starting in the spring. It's October 15th and those deadlines don't really change. 
Um, so making sure that you have all of those different components submitted. We do have a scholarship that is what we call an automatic scholarship. It's called the New Arkansas Non-Resident Tuition Award. And that's for our students that are coming from Oklahoma or other bordering states. And that is a tuition waiver scholarship. So it's a value of around 14,800. And so that really bridges the gap between in-state and out-of-state tuition. Now, if you um, are part of a Native American community that resided previously in Arkansas, then you can potentially get the in-state rate. And so if you have any questions again on that, feel free to connect with me. But if you have any other questions about the University of Arkansas, maybe some organizations, because we have a variety of, of student organizations, we have 400 plus, um, or just the admission process, maybe your unique experience and, and trying to understand um, navigating that transfer process, feel free to connect with me. Again, my name is Olga Mercia with the University of Arkansas, and my phone number is 479-575-8499, and my email is omurcia at uark.edu. Again, our transfer website is transfer.uark.edu. Thanks again. Fantastic, everyone. So uh, with that, just going to double check and make sure. Yep, so we are all set with presentations for this afternoon. Um, so I am going to invite our participants to drop more questions in the Q&A. We've had a few already. And while we keep an eye on that chat box, I'm going to invite all of our uh, panelists to turn on their video. And we'll just go in presentation order. I'd love to hear from each of our panelists just um, a fun fact or a special tradition, even something that you didn't get to in your presentation that you wanted to mention. Just any, any kind of one little last tidbit about your school that you'd like to share. Wonderful. Well, again, my name is Kaylee Faber, and I am with Oklahoma State University um, here in Stillwater. So one thing that in a typical year that um, we love to host is our homecoming. And so um, I'm not sure if any of you have attended Oklahoma State's homecoming, but it's kind of just a big celebration. Um, all of our Greek houses, so fraternity and sororities, they make these giant what they call as house decks and they do pomping which is just with little tissue paper um, and they make these giant murals and they are all moving and some of them squirt water and there's just so many different um, engineering moving parts um, and it's really something incredible to see. So um, we do what we call a walk around and that happens the evening before. And so you um, actually get to come out, go, they block off the whole street and you just walk around and see all the different house decks and they, it is a competition. So um, one house will win, but it is definitely something that if you are in the area, um, just come out at, for an experience. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we are unable to do it this year, um, but definitely come and find us next year because it's, it's something to experience for sure. So here at Southeastern, one of our biggest events that we have on campus is called Spring Fest. It happens in the spring. It's where all of our student organizations compete against each other. Um, the student favorite event is Mud Volleyball. Um, so that is probably other than homecoming for football. Um, our next biggest event, I think this past spring was the first time in over 30 years that it was canceled. Um, so we're hopeful that this year we get to have Spring Fest. So if you get involved in our campus community, that is a fun event to be involved in. Hi, I'm Randall Durden with Rogers State University. And uh, we have no minimum GPA to get in. And we have recently gotten rid of our application free. So it's free to apply. And so uh, if you will need a backup plan or if you're planning on coming here any, any way already, uh, you know, it's a great place to try out. Also, we, have, we used to be an Oklahoma Military Academy. So a lot of our building used to be in things. And we have a gold dome building, a classroom inside the gold dome. It's up on top of a hill and you can look out over downtown Claremore. So it's a great view, beautiful campus to, to look out over.
Hi, Olga again from the University of Arkansas. Um, so something kind of unique to our campus. I mean, we have some some very interesting um, events on campus, carnivals and food and all of that in our Union Mall, but something unique to our campus, if you're not familiar with our mascot, we have um, a mascot called Tusk. He's a Razorback and he is huge. <laughs> and we have um, Tusk number, I think we're on Tusk number six right now. Um, so they are grown on a different farm. Um, there is just wonderful. He comes out for the games and so that really pumps up the students. Um, but Tusk is very special. It's a very, it goes with a really unique call that we do. If you haven't heard the Woo Pig Suey call, we definitely use the Woo Pig Suey for all types of things like Woo Pig Suey, you did really well. Or just, you know, when we're um, maybe at a restaurant, you hear people calling Woo Pig Suey. It's, it's really uh, a very, it, it, it really brings a sense of community to the University of Arkansas and every school here has has that as well. Um, but definitely the Woo Pig Suey, me coming from California originally 17 years ago and learning that was definitely unique. <laughs> so that was something I wanted to share. That's great. It's always my favorite part of these is hearing all of the kind of things that don't quite make it into the official presentation, but make your schools very special. Um, so we'll just give it another couple of minutes and uh, let a few more questions come in. And then since we were short a couple of schools, we'll go ahead and wrap up a few minutes early. So just keep another eye on the chat. If you've got questions, get them in within the next minute or so. And uh, I'll be back to wrap things up in a couple minutes. All right, and with that, I am going to end our session for today. I want to thank all of the presenters and all of the students who joined us with their questions and to watch their presentations. When you close this window, you'll see a quick uh, link to a quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. And again, this is just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at the same website where you registered. So again, thank you to everybody who joined us today and have a great day.